Hello mga mat enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan pa rin natin ay problem solving involving permutations. So marami pa rin tayong request kung paano ba magsosolve ng permutations or yung mga problems involving permutations. Kaya itong part na ito ay hahatiin ko into three parts ha? Linear, circular, and distinguishable permutations. Now, ang daming mga problems na isinend sa akin. Kaya ang ginawa ko, namili ako at pinagsama-sama ko yung mga pwedeng magkakapareho naman ng ibig sabihin or nung tot or nung pinahihiwate kahit magkakaiba yung situations or kahit magkakaiba yung given. Ang dapat nyo lang gawin ay sundin nyo yung procedure, intindihin nyo mabuti kasi baka yung mga nandito ay applicable naman dyan sa mga problems na meron kayo. Kasi medyo mahirap talaga at nagkaiba-iba tayo ng modules, okay? Pero bago ko simula ng video na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. Sige na, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. For number one, Mr. Cruz wants to assign five tasks to his five students. In how many possible ways can he do it? Okay, very simple lang itong problem na to. Apply nyo lang yung fundamental counting principle. So, i-multiply lang natin yan. Meron kang five tasks. So, you have five. Ilan ang estudyante mo mo? Five. So, five times five. That is 25 ways. O, di ba? Simple lang. Now, how many four-digit numbers can be formed from the digits 0 to 9? So, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ilan lahat yan? Sampu, di ba? So, meron kang four-digit number. Ito yun. Okay. Tatanda, tatandaan ninyo, sorry, na yung first digit, ito, bawal mag-zero dito, ha? Kasi magiging nonsense yung digit mo kasi wala namang value yung zero pag siya yung nauuna. Na, hindi na siya significant, sorry. So, ano yung sense na nilagay mo siya dyan? So, instead na 10 ang pagpipilian mo dyan dahil tinanggal natin si zero, 9 na lang. Okay. O, dito, ilan ang choices natin dito? Lahat sila. So, ilan ba sila? Sampu. Okay. For the third digit, lahat ulit sila. So, 10 ulit sila. And for our last digit, lahat ulit. Walang restriction. <laughs> Nabubulol si ma'am, ha? Okay. So, you just multiply this 4. So, 9 times 10 is 90 times 10. 900 times 10, 9,000. So, that is 9,000 ways. Okay? So, kung 5 digit yung nilagay nyo, di 5 yung slot na ilalagay nyo dito. Tapos, another 10. ba? Kung 6, dagdagan pa ulit ang multiply by 10. So, you have this one. Now, there are 3 green flags and 3 white flags. Using all these flags, how many signals can be given? O, katulad dito, ha? Magkaiba yung situation, magkaiba yung given, pero pareho lang naman yung uh, sinasabi niya or ipinahihiwating niya or yung thought niya. So, you just simply have it as 3 times 3, and that is 9. So, 9 ways. Okay? Or 9 signals. Yang pwede mong magawa dyan. Okay, for number 4, how many ways can 5 different mathematics books, 4 different science books, and 3 different English books can be arranged on a shelf? Okay, same with number 1 and number 3. Meron kang ilan? Limang mathematics multiplied by apat na science multiplied by three English books. So, ilan lahat yan? 5 times 4 is 20 times 3. You have 20, ah, 20, 60. Okay, 60 ways. See? Okay, madali lang pag linear permutation. Okay, number 5. Six couples want to have their picture taken. In how many ways can they arrange themselves in a row? Okay, so meron tayong six couples. So, ibig sabihin, may six chairs tayo. Ilagay natin, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, sa unang slot, ilan ang pwedeng umupo dito? Dahil anim sila, anim. Okay, dahil nakaupo na yung isa dito, ilan na lang yung pagpipilian mo dito? Lima. 
Okay, dahil nakaupo na yung dalawa, ilan na lang dito? Apat. Eh dito, tatlo. So, obviously, ano nangyayari? Nagdi-descend siya. And then, imumultiply nyo lang yan. This is permutation of n objects taken all at a time. Ha? So, you have 6 factorial. Ito yan. Okay, so what is 6 times 5? O, mag-calculator tayo para mabilis, ha? So, we have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so that's 720 ways. Okay? Uh, now, in how many okay, ways can you place 4 red balls, 3 yellow balls, and 6 black balls, and 2 blue balls, and 1 orange ball in a row? Okay, so you just simply have it 4 times, ito yun, 3 times 6 times 2 times 1. Okay, and that is how many? Let's see. Okay, 4 times 3 times 6 times 2 times 1. And that is 144 ways. Okay. Now, for number 7, in how many ways can, you, can a judge rank 5 contestants in beauty pageant? Okay, so ito ay 5 factorial ha. Ibig sabihin, this is permutation of n object taken all at a time. So, meron kang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Irarank mo yung 5. Dito, ilan ang pagpipilian? 5. Okay, sa so second, 4. And then, 3, 2, 1. Yan yung magiging ranking. So, obviously, ilan ito? May kapareho ba tayo sa taas? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, hindi. 6 kasi yun. O, di gawin natin dito, calculate natin 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, that's 720 ways. Okay, for number 8, there are 3 different positions available in a business firm. Now, if there are 12 applicants, in how many ways can the firm fill the position? So, this is permutation of n objects taken R at a time. Okay, so ano ba formula natin? Pag ganito, natatandaan pa, you have here this one. Okay, wherein you have n factorial over n minus r, you have the parenthesis factorial. Okay, now let's solve for this one. This is very easy lang ha. Okay, sa mga nagtatanong kung paano ba ito gagawin, napaka-simple. Okay, let's go up. Identify nyo muna ano ang n nyo. Ang n nyo yung total na objects. So, ilang applicants tayo in total, you have there 12. Okay, how many yung kailangan makuha at a time? So, that's 3. Okay, so you will have here now uh, 12 factorial over... 12 minus 3, and then factorial. So, you have 12 over, uh, what is 12 minus 3? You have there 8. So, 12 factorial over 8 factorial, okay? 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8. Okay, dyan na lang ako ha, hindi ko nahahabaan kasi itong 8 naman ay 8 times 7 times 6. Ganon din naman dito yan, ba? O, hindi ko na iyahaba. Ika-cancel ko na yan dito. Okay, ang matitira na lang ito. Okay, kasi mapapagod lang tayo magsulat. So, shortcut na. So, you will have here 12 times 11 times 10 times 9. Okay, so you will have here 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 equals 11,880 ways. 11,880 ways. Okay, paano ko ginawa dito? Yung nasa denominator, no, ikakancel nyo na siya. Kunyari kung 6 dito, ibig sabihin yung number na imumultiply nyo ay hanggang 7 na lang. Kung ito naman ay 10 factorial yung nasa baba, itong 10 factorial, saka yung 10 kasi na, ay yung 10 nyo dito, saka yung 10 nyo dito sa baba, makakancel out na lang din yun. Kaya ito na lang matut matitira. Instead na sulat nyo pa lahat, huwag nang magpakapagod, basta alam nyo yung idea, okay na yan. Okay, for number 9, find the number of different arrangements of the set of 6 letter, which is the word theory, if taken 
two at a time. So, meron kang six letter word, tapos kukunin mo lang dalawa at a time. So, you will have here the same formula. Okay, we have NPR. Okay, so you will have here N factorial over N minus R factorial. Ang N mo dito ay six. Ang R mo ay 2. Okay? So, you will have here now 6 factorial over 6 minus 2 factorial. Okay? So, what is 6 minus 2? That is, dito na lang, 6 factorial over 4 factorial. Okay? Yung shortcut natin, di ba? 6 times 5 times 4. Dito ay 4 na lang. Kasi marami pa yan, di ba? Ito din marami pa. So, i-cancel mo na lang yan. Ang matitira na lang ay 6 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30. So, there are 30 ways. Okay, now for number 10, there are 8 finalists for math contest and, me and medals. For math contest and medals will be given to the first 3 winners. How many ways are there for the medal to be selected? So, 8 finalists, tapos 3 winners. Ang N mo ay 8, ang R mo ay 3. So, your formula will be N factorial over N minus R factorial. Shortcut na lang natin. 8 minus 3, that's 5. So, 8 factorial over 5 factorial. So, this is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, di ba? And dito ay 5 na lang din. So, cancel na to. Ito na lang meron tayo. 8 times 7 times 6. O, multiply nga natin dito. 8 times 7 times 6 equals 336 ways. So, 336 ways. Okay, now... Uh, the, license, the license plate must have three letters and followed by three digits. How many license plates are possible? So, you have one, two, three, one, two, three. Ito yung sa letters, ito yung sa letters, ito yung sa numbers. Ilang letters ba meron sa alphabet? 26. So, dito pwedeng 26. Dito 26 din and then 26 kasi pwede naman maulit yung mga letters. Dito naman, meron kang ilan? 0 to 9. So, that's 10 digits, 10 digits, 10 digits. Multiply mo lang yan, makukuha mo na. Okay? So, you will have here 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 and times 10. So, you will have here 17,576,000. 17,576,000. Please. Okay, now, dito naman, we have the math teacher will give a surprise gift to her student with a condition that each student may open the password by, by ito ah, by unlocking it using five-digit number with no repetition of the digits, uh, 0 to 9. How many five digits? Digit numbers can be formed. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Without repetition, ibig sabihin dito, 10. Ang pagpipilian, dito dahil nakuha na yung isa, hindi na pwede mag-repeat. 9 na dito. 8, 7, 6. Okay? Pababa ng pababa. Pabawas ng pabawas. So, ilan na lahat yan? Multiply natin na 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Okay, so you have 30,240 ways. Okay, oh now, let's have this one. In how many ways can three boys and two girls sit in a row if they can sit anywhere? Okay, so you have 3 plus 2, that's 5. Okay, so that's 5 factorial, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that is 120 ways. Okay, now the boy and girls are sit alternately. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Kung ito si boy, ito si girl, ito si boy, ito si girl, ito si boy. Kasi tatlong boys, dalawang girl. Okay, dito sa slot na to, ilan ang pwede sa una? Dahil tatlo yung boys, tatlo. Okay, and then sa girls, dito, ilan ang pagpipilian? Dalawa. Okay, dahil nakaupo na yung isang boy, dito ang pagpipilian na lang, dalawa. Okay, dahil nakaupo na yung isang girl natin, eh dalawa lang naman sila, so no choice, isa na lang dito. At dito sa isa naman, eh isa na lang. 
Tapos times nyo lang yan. Okay, 3 times 2 is 6, times 2 is 12. Times 1, times 1 is 12. So, there are 12 ways. Okay, now, the boys are sit together as well as the girls. So, meron kang boy, 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 at a girl, girl. Okay, so dito, ilan ang pagpipilian natin sa una? Tatlo sila. Nakaupo na yung isa, matitira na lang dalawa. And then... Dahil nakaupo na yung dalawa, isa na lang ang choice natin dito sa isang slot. Ganun din sa girls. Sa una, dalawa yung pagpipilian, tapos isa. Multiply natin. 3 times 2 is 6, times 1 is 6, times 2 is 12, times 1 is 12. Okay? Pero, pwede namang yung girls muna yung mauna bago yung boy. So, ibig sabihin, itong pagpipilian natin na to ay ita times natin sa 2. So, meron ka ngayong 24 ways. Okay, ngayon, kung naintindihan mo ang video na ito at kahit papaano naman ay nakatulong ako dyan sa ginagawa nyo, please i-comment yan sa baba ha. Sana sa lahat ng video na makikita ko may kinalaman man ito sa inyo o wala, ay i-like at mag-comment kayo ha. Tulong nyo na sa akin yun. At syempre, i-share nyo din sa mga classmates nyo. Sige na naman. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!